Good day everyone, this is Micah Vertidazo. For this video, let us tackle the other techniques for unpacking curriculum standards and competences. So we proceed, what is unpacking curriculum standards and competences? So unpacking curriculum standards and competences is one of the essential tasks of teachers in implementing the K-12 basic education curriculum. This is useful for teachers, especially when they design their instructional plans and when they design assessment tools. Unpacking the standards allows teachers to better understand what students are expected to know at grade level. This enables teachers to create lessons that are acceptable for their students' grade level standards. Teachers can create grade level tests by unpacking both formative and summative. Well, let's proceed to the other techniques for unpacking curriculum standards and competences. So the taxonomy of educational objectives, known as Bloom's taxonomy, is one of the most recognized learning theories in the field of education. Teachers often use this Bloom's taxonomy to create learning outcomes that target not only subject matter, but also the depth of learning they want students to achieve, and to the create assessment that accurately report on students' progress towards these outcomes. According to Bloom, educational objectives can be categorized into three domains. First, knowledge-based. Second, skills-based. And lastly, affective. The different levels of thinking defined within each domain of the taxonomy are hierarchical. In other words, each level subsumes the levels that come before it. If we try to look at the first taxonomy, which is the cognitive or knowledge base, we can infer that before a student can conduct an analysis, they first might need to know the methods of analysis, understand the different elements to review, and consider which method to apply. It is only then that they will be ready to conduct the analysis itself. The goal of knowledge-based objectives is to test the student's understanding of principles, concepts, and facts related to a particular fire situation. Originally, Bloom taxonomy included synthesis between analysis and evaluation. Anderson and Cratwell 2001 published a revision to the 1956 hierarchy. The Bloom's taxonomy words were changed from nouns to verbs. What's more the most important, two levels evaluate and create were swapped to make creation the main goal of learning. For affective domain, Bloom also categorized learning objectives into five categories, which listed from the simplest behavior to the most complex. This domain focuses on helping learners understand what their own values are and how they have developed. The affected domain includes factors such as student motivation, attitudes, perceptions, and values. Teachers can increase their effectiveness by considering the affected domain in planning courses, delivering lectures and activities, and assessing student learning. For the psychomotor domain, Bloom categorizes skill-based learning competences into six categories from simple to complex. It revolves around perception, set, guided response, mechanism, complex overt response, adaptation, and organization. This objective is a skill-based learning outcome because it requires students to practically demonstrate to the satisfaction of the evaluator, the skillfulness and ability of how to use appropriate equipment or techniques effectively. These three domains has a specific features and objectives designed to engage who learn to solve problems, process information, and build their skills using different perspectives. Teachers should decide which of these three the corresponding course goal belongs to in order to determine the level of expertise required for each measurable student outcome. The result is useful for teachers in understanding the nature of the content and in the selection of teaching strategies. The students can benefit by teaching them various ways to approach new ideas and concepts. They also give teachers tools to cater the learning experience to the specific needs of each student. Fink 2003 also presented an alternative taxonomy for categorizing different types of learning outcome. It is known as Fink's taxonomy of significant learning. 
Fink presented his taxonomy for a systematic approach to course design that went beyond the usual focus on content. This taxonomy provided a model for course design that helps teachers to align learning goals with a method for assessing student learning. Fink's taxonomy encourages teachers to put more emphasis on active learning and relating course content with real-life problems. The taxonomy is a convenient way to describe the degree to which students understand and use concepts to demonstrate particular skills and to have their values, attitudes, and interests affected. This will determine which classroom assessment techniques are most appropriate for the course. And that's where the chapter ends. Thank you.